welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am the Psychic Medium. For those of you who are new, yes, I have been a Psychic Medium for as long as I can remember. Um, so today, it, just letting you know that I'm going to get started. I'm going to run through my beginning PSA very quickly. Don't get scammed. I never reach out to anybody. Um, if somebody reaches out to you claiming to be me, they'd be lying because that's not me. I don't reach out to people. Um, if you do want a session, all the information is in the bio. It's also on the screen. If you're watching, that is the way to get a session with me. That's how it works in my world. Just saying. Okay. If you would like to ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, call in 845-277-9131. If you are watching on YouTube, the live version, you can put your question in the comment um, and I will get to it as soon as I can. Um, I take everybody in order. Stephanie had the first question this morning. I'm not going to answer it quite yet because there's a couple of things for those of you who are new. There's a couple of things I do at the beginning of my show. Um, I let everybody know, please remember this show is live on television stations. So Rude Rangers TV and WSCS and all of their affiliate stations carry me plus all of their social media. So just keep that in mind when we are on the phone together. A second, uh, what? I can't remember now. I should really write this stuff down. Oh, second. Um, the reason I, I do names, uh, this could be your name, their name, or somebody that you're going to go, oh my gosh, that was a nickname or uh, my child's name, whatever it is. And one name can apply to more than one person. So people who are watching the show or listening to the show later, it can also be for you. I also do songs. The song could answer a question that you have going on in your life right now. It could be their, 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 um, a song they loved, you loved, a group, whatever it is. And lately I've been doing a little channeling at the beginning of the show. People seem to like it, especially spirit. Spirit loves when they get to channel through me. Okay, first names. The first name is John and then Juan. Are those the same name? Like seriously, is that? I don't know. Okay, next. The next name is... Uh, Eriberto, Eriberto, <laughs> Jesus, I am not making fun of anybody. I am trying to say it the way they're bringing it through to me. And sometimes they do like channel the name through me because there's a, a lot of names I just cannot say appropriately. Aziel or Aziel, Aziel, Aziel. Okay. Um, and now we see that's, that's exactly why. Um, <clears throat> There's an M name, Mariano, Mariano, yeah, Mariano, and in my white girl way, I would pronounce that Mariano, is this my white girl, <laughs> no, <laughs> don't be offended, please don't come at me for my sense of humor, okay, the next name is um, Guy, <clears throat> the next name is Joshua. The next name is Jake. The next name is Mary. The next name is Rosalinda. The next name is, it's so, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying the names like a robot. And then after I hear them come out of my mouth, I'm like, geez, Rosalinda, <laughs> like, where does that accent come from? Them, them. Um, Jose, Cesar, boy, there's a lot of names today that are good names, really good names, new names. Uh, Jacinta, I don't know that that necessarily has to have that accent. Uh, Paula, 
Ben Ben Van I, I can't Benvenito. I don't know. Um Lucky two more names only. Um Cin Cindy and Lakshi. Okay, those are the names. Next I'm gonna do um <clears throat> the songs. Okay, if you okay, okay, if you watched last week's show, the songs were hilarious. Patrick, I wish you would have been because there were some songs I couldn't like I couldn't even. Okay. The first song is um I can't stay in the rain on my window. This is the second time this song is coming through. And yes, I cannot sing. I am aware. Blatant fact. Everybody's aware. No need to point it out. We all know. The next song is um let it be, let it be, something words of wisdom, let it be. Okay, the next song is, um, I'm all out of love. <laughs> I'm so lost without you. I know I was wrong. <laughs> and to that I say, if you know you were wrong, keep moving. <laughs> keep, I'm sorry, that's my... That's my personal interjection. Do not take my personal interjections as part of your journey. Um, oh gosh, okay, I think I'm funny. If you don't, it's okay. It's just like my singing. I know I can't sing and some people will not find me funny, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna do one or two more songs. Um, the next song is, um, oh, Little ditty about Jack and Diane, <laughs> two American kids growing up in the hot land. <laughs> I just want to keep singing that song. Okay, no, I don't. Okay, the next song and the last song is um, I I hear it. I know it. I don't. I'm. I don't know if it's. I'm not, uh, give me a different song. Give me, it's by that. Um, never mind. Give me a different song. Okay, they're not. My, I don't know if it's humps or bumps. My hump, my bump, my hump, my hump, my something, something hump. Uh, this is why I didn't want to do the song. I drive the, Something crazy, they, nah, 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 nah. that song, okay. <clears throat> if you know, you know. You would have known by just the, my humps, my humps. I, you would have known just by that if that's your song, if it's for you, if it's meant for you. Um, as somebody's asking me if I can do one more song and I'm saying yes, but I'm trying to get the song now. And they just keep showing me like a gray, rainy day like a gray rainy day and um okay and then they're singing this song um i'm so sorry you have just reached my answering machine so if you know you know that's not going to be for everyone that's not going to be for anyone born after like 2000 for probably um okay that's that's that there's that we got that we got that like apple jacks okay uh all righty i'm gonna go to the first caller and then the first question i'm going to alternate between callers and questions on youtube live by the way if you want to join us every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those are central time. You can join in. You can call in and ask questions, 845-277-9131. Or you can uh, put your question in the chat. I get to as many people as I can on any given um, show. 
If you are uh, asking a question, please ask a very specific question. If you want to connect with a loved one, I need the name, the first name of your loved one and the relationship they had to you, like Judy, my mom. And then if you have a question, that question, don't let me give you a message and then go, oh, well, my question was. And no like secondary, third dairy, fourth dairy questions, meaning once you ask your question and I answer it, I need to move on to the next person. You don't get to say, well, does that mean this? Or, do, you know, well, then what about this? Okay. Um, it's not fair to everybody else who's waiting for their questions to be answered. And I'm, um, if you do need more information, I completely understand that. And you can schedule a session and I'm happy to answer all of your questions in that session. Here we go, 417. 417, what's your name? 417. Hello, can you hear me okay? I can, thank you. I can, thank you. Okay, what you need to do though. How are you doing today? Okay, what you need to do is whatever you are listening to me on the background, you need to turn that off or turn that down. Okay, love? Okay, is it better? I will know as soon as I talk. Nope, I'm still hearing okay. myself. Oh, that's weird. Hold on one second. I don't know. Okay, while you figure that out. I, it, I, can you hear me okay? I can hear you. I just don't want to hear me. I'm going to put you on hold while you figure that out because what you need to do is you need, whatever you're listening to me on, you need to like mute it for a moment. So if you can mute that, I can bring you back on, but I, I can't have that reverb in the background. So, okay, let's see if you figure it out. Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. I'm going to go to the next caller, 904. 904, what's your name and where are you calling from? Um, hi, this is Pat. I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Pat. How can I help you today? I wanted to see if I could connect with somebody on the other side. She was my uh, first spiritual teacher first. and she has one name that's, I'll spell it for you. It's K-A-I-M-O-R-A, K-Mora. Yeah, okay. I don't know if she has any messages. Uh, would you, do you have a question for her? No, I just want to see if she had a message. Any message? Okay, give me Is that a second. okay? Sec well, if you listen to my intro, that's, uh, I'm going to put you on hold while I get that information from her, whatever it is. Um, she would say to you to live your life in a way that you have not lived your life before. Find a way to be more profound to yourself, not to others. To move forward in a way that brings you peace and love. Don't It is okay. Don't allow outside influences to uh, affect internal reasonings, thoughts, and emotions. Okay, I'm going to bring you back on now. I'm going to just bring you back on now. Okay, 904. Was that helpful, yes. love? Yes. Here. Yes. Okay. So that is the message that she would have for you. And, and she would say to you to follow those rules and everything in your life will come together exactly the way that you want it to. Great. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Absolutely. My pleasure. Absolutely. I hope that was helpful. And thank you so much for calling in. 417, if you can figure out how to, whatever you're listening to me on, if you can figure out how to turn off the volume on that, I'll come back to you. Right now, Stephanie has a question. Stephanie is in the YouTube. I've been having such bad luck with relationships. Do you think this is the time <clears throat> in my life that I need to solely focus on myself or is there someone I'm just not noticing? Okay, 
the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear, heal, release anything stopping or blocking you from meeting someone. Um, I'm not going to say the one. I'm, oh, you know what? I'm just going to change that a little bit. Let's clear, heal, release for everyone listening and or watching anything stopping or blocking healthy, loving relationship with a partner. All that caused and kept this. Now, here's what I am going to say. If you cannot be by yourself, right? If you cannot be alone, if you cannot, you will not have successful relationships. And each of us are given a time alone to figure, most of us are given a time alone to figure out who we are and what we really want. The people coming into your life right now are people who are helping you see a, I want to use the right word here, Stephanie. They're helping you to see a, 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 a something that needs to be uh, changed, like a course correction. Thank you. So if you have a thought that all partners are like this or all uh, all men this or all women that these people are coming in and maybe affirming that in some odd way so that you can fix it because what bothers us in a relationship what what pokes us is that is uncomfortable is what needs to be fixed in us, not them. And what pokes us in a good way is what we've already fixed and healed. So what I'm going to say is whatever it is that is uncomfortably poking Stephanie or anybody else in a relationship, let's heal, clear, release that. <laughs> Okay, and then what I'm also going to say is, and here, this is a big one, and I've experienced this. What this, I feel like this is something, even Stephanie, from your childhood that has come through. So whatever, okay, everybody get ready. Everybody, everybody. Whatever programs, whatever um, erroneous or incorrect programs, beliefs about relationships from our childhood and uh, uh, that are causing unhealthy cycles or unhealthy partners. Let's heal, clear, release all of that. Oh, oh if anybody's feeling that, please comment. <laughs> Stephanie, I feel like you're going to have three good months alone, three really good, solid months alone. And then on the fourth month, in the fourth month, you're going to meet someone. During these three months by yourself, you are going to be really honing in on you, what you want, where you want to be, and what you want to do. And get that solid and get it straight. And when someone comes into your life, you keep doing you. Uh, when here's the mistake so many of us make when someone comes into our life we start to make our life about them and we kind of get off track with our stuff and we need to keep our life about us and this happens a little bit more to women than it does to men they start to try to mother or <clears throat> I want to say uh, like just be so about the man and making their life in alignment with whatever person they're in a room. And the idea is to be with someone, but be you and keep you going. So a lot of times when somebody comes in, we will help them, you know, we will work on them. We will help them. We will, which is a good thing. As long as you're keeping you solid, reaching your goals, doing what you want and becoming who you want to be. So many times, People will be in a relationship and put so much into this relationship, helping this person become a whole new person, and they haven't invested in themselves and kept uh, um, watering or 
progressing in themselves. And if I'm getting this message, it's either for you or somebody else who's listening. Maybe you do that. Maybe you do that. That's perfect. That's good. But this is just the message I'm getting for whomever needs it right now. So please, with that, uh, pay attention to that and make sure that that's not something that is going on in, in your personal life. Um, Earth, you're going to be the next question I answer, but I'm going to go to the next question on the call log right now. 860, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Amla. How are you? Hey, Amla. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thanks for calling in again. What's uh, what's your question, love? Thank I'm going to piggy bank. Thank you for, you already did the clearing on the relationship thing. So, um, this is kind of connected. I have a presentation at the end of May. Um, it's kind of a big deal. And I just feel like I've cleared out so much gunk and junk. And I'm not the only one. We're all clearing out stuff. But um, I really feel like I did a really scraping out the barrel type of thing about me. And so I'm wondering if you feel me needing somebody. Okay. Do this not... parent presentation or everyone. Yeah. For you and everybody else listening, the first thing I'm getting is just to do a general clearing. So for everybody, we're just okay. going to do a really general clearing. Um, yeah, there's a lot. Okay. And sometimes, here's what I'm going to say. Sometimes, you know, due to no fault of our own, we can end up in situations and places where we pick up other people's energies or whatever it is. It can be family, it can be shopping, even grocery shopping. It can be just, you know, walking down the street, whatever it is. Oh, so we're going to clear all of that uh, for everybody. And we can come, we, we, we can come back to the show and we can listen at these points where the clearings are and get them every day um, or every week. And it, it'll be very beneficial, especially this one of clearing, the general clearing. What I'm going to say, Amla, is um, for you personally, for you, this is now it's all about you, for you personally, with your love life, there is one more thing that you need to realize. And um, this thing is going to come in this week, hopefully. I'm, this is what I'm hearing. It's up to you what we, things can be said to us or shown to us. It's up to us when we accept them, okay? It's up to us when we accept them and when we m switch that, switch it, switch it. So right. what I'm going to do right now, Amla, for you is I'm going to clear that you get that thing, whatever it is. I feel like it's a, they're using the word epiphany. It's an epiphany, a thought, okay. uh, something that it's just going to click. Like, and I'm going to say this, Amla, so give, give me one quick second here to say this. A lot of times when, when, I think I'm going to say it <laughs> many times when we are adults, uh, we end up in relationships with people that are like family members that we have not healed the relationship with that person. So if we, it can be a family member, a friend, an ex, but if we have an unhealed relationship or let's not call it unhealed. If we have a relationship with someone that is very challenging, we may end up with a partner that is like that person. And in the beginning, we'll see all the things that we love about that person. But then as we get into it, we'll see the things that are a challenge with, let's say, our mother, our sister, our father, whatever it is. So what I'm getting right now um, we're going to clear that for everybody, clearing that for everybody, healing it, get pulling, pulling it out. Whew. And Amla, one other thing that I'm getting is that, <clears throat> I, I, and I love you, Amla, I love you. Don't have an expectation, <laughs> and this is twofold, don't have an expectation of meeting someone 
and don't have an expectation once you do meet the person because we all have expectations of people and it's normal it's yeah. natural it's human but we have to hone back we have to pull back and we have to be in a space where we are not expecting anything from them especially in the beginning and even even our family nobody i you know they have said this many times before and they they are going to say it again nobody owes anybody anything right right and in a relationship just because you're letting somebody diddle your do it doesn't mean they owe you a darn thing okay yeah. if if you're in love with yeah. somebody it doesn't mean they owe you something so the idea is to go in and stay concrete within yourself and have agreements that have been discussed between people now having said that amla is amla gonna meet someone this year yes a partner yes a love a dove <laughs> uh the potential is there um, okay. what I'm hearing, Amla, you have to play hard to get when this person comes in, not impossible, but let men do what <laughs> men do. Let them pursue you. Let them chase you. Let them, it, you know, you're ready. Yeah. Let them be the pursuer. Let them win you. Um, that is what I'm hearing for you, Amla. I hope that is helpful. Thank you so much. That's really helpful. I, I think the energy in me has definitely changed to wrap it, to, to really just validate you is just to be me and that's enough. Yeah. And I'm not going to chase. Don't. I'm just going to be me and that's all I can be. Yeah. And you, you know, yeah. when somebody comes in and all weekend I've been getting relationship messages and believe me, guys, girls, peeps, when I'm talking to you, I've probably been through it. I've had many different relationships and many different dynamics, and I've made a, 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 I've made so many mistakes in relationships. Other people that I've been with have made mistakes, but I don't call them mistakes any longer. I, I use the word mistake for the sake of the show, but it was just a learning experience. None of us come in knowing how to have a relationship with someone who was uh, born and brought up in a completely different way than we are. So when we get with someone, we're, you know, not taking that into account and, and we're having a relationship the way we do our whole life. And if we're coming from dysfunctional families, that's that's not <laughs> we have not evolved from that right so we're having the same dynamic in our partnerships eventually and i'm going to use this example and it's the funniest example i've had people say to me i got a cat and he has a kitten it was so sweet but now it's got an attitude or my dog is such an ass. Really? <laughs> really? Because who else? Now, if you take that, that, those verbiages and you go, okay, who else in your life would you say that about? They will go directly to a sister, a brother, a uncle, whomever, a mom, a dad. My dad, my dog is acting just like my father did when I was a kid because that's being brought to us so we can heal it. Okay. So it's not, and this isn't a criticism on anybody because we are all children, no matter what our age is, no matter how mature we are. We are all children learning here and growing here and maturing. And that is one thing in our American culture. Our, there was not the emphasis on maturity in so many cases. So Amla, I hope this is helpful to you. I hope that, that, you, that this, this takes you where you need to be loved. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, Tony. God bless you too, love. God bless. And you are welcome. I'm going to go to the next question from Earth. I've been under spiritual attacks so many, oh my gosh, 
Heck yeah. Uh, Earth, I'd like to know, did the last clearing, the general clearing, did that help? Did you notice anything different? Things crawling on my body, movements in my stomach. The first thing I'm going to tell you, I need you to, and I can't, I can't say it on air, but I know you're watching. So I'm just going to write this down. Uh, nobody come at me if I spell it wrong, because I'm probably going to spell this wrong. Um, if uh, and a complex if you can get on this I know it, it, it take a screenshot whatever and I know I spelled it wrong it's okay somebody Patrick can you please spell it correctly in the comments there is a a complex take it before you go to bed that is going to help you because one of the reasons this happens is when our guard is down, we are stressed out. I'm going to start a clearing for this right now. And I just want to say right now in this time in our world, this is very, um, very much happening there are things going on and uh the other thing I, I you know i wish i could say certain things on here um but if you guys oh my gosh i can't say it my show i'll get another x and my show will be taken down and i just can't that's what i mean if i have to spell out a supplement for the love of all that's good and gracious in this world come on folks um, that is what I'm going to tell you, but we are clearing this. Okay. It's your home. So I'm going to, everybody's home. We're going to start to clear that too. Holy moly. And then, so again, remember you can come back and you can play this every day to make sure you're clear. Your home's clear. Everything's good. That one makes me just dizzy. And I'll bet you earth, I'm going to scroll down to see if you have you have uh, 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 get, she says she's been taking it or he they've been taking it periodically take it consistently and um, and I I agree with your next comment 100% I believe and I know and um, everybody has been saying that so please um, take this now one of the things is if if we are stressed and we cannot sleep and we're not getting the appropriate amount of sleep, it will make us vulnerable. So that's why I'm saying get on that consistently, okay? Okay, I'm going to go to the next color. I think it's, um, I believe the next color is maybe 850. I can't remember. 850, what's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Michelle, and I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Michelle. How can I help you today? Oh, I'm just kind of depressed. You know, I'm a pretty strong girl. But anyways, I asked my my uh, husband that I wanted to s separate until he got, um, until he went to recovery. And uh, I caught him buying medicine. He thinks just one pill is is I'm overreacting. Well, one pill is one too many. We've already been down this route because he is an addict. And I told him before that I would leave that if he if he started up again, you know, so that's what I did. I told him to leave. And he's like, are you serious? And I says, I'm serious. I said, I don't want you to come back until you've been through recovery. So he's packing his stuff up yesterday. And I asked him, are you going to go to recovery? He said, no, he didn't have a problem. Yeah, do you know? So I'm just like all mm -hmm. upset. I'm, I'm really just like, I'm a strong girl, but I'm kind of sad too, because when I went over to the camper trailer where he's moving to, my girlfriend was living in there, supposed to be a friend, and I heard him talking about me. And I was like, really? Okay. You know? And uh, and then she kind of got short-tempered with me, and I was like, what a bitch, you know? <laughs> so I'm just curious where you see all this going, you know? I feel all alone, you know what I mean? Because I know I'm right. So here's what, there's so much to unpack in this and so much I could say, and I'm not going to say everything. I'm going to give you the very, the most important part of this. Let it go. 
um, first, when somebody t does something like what is happening here, if they do have an issue and then they're saying they don't have a problem when they know they have a problem, he already knows all of the everything you're telling him. He knows it. Um, the denial part is the part that says, I don't care. This is the road I'm going down. So once they go into that denial statement, you need to let them go for you. The reason you pulled up on them or that trailer and heard what you heard is because God said enough is enough, girl. Your family on the other side, your friends on the other side, your angels said you need to see the truth about the people in your life. We're going to put it so hard in your face that you have no choice but to let go of this. And I will say this until my face turns blue. Sometimes the trash takes itself out and all we can do is thank it. Sometimes the trash takes itself out and all we can do is say, thank you. That's, that's one less thing I need to worry about. If someone is supposedly your friend and it's a female and i'm gonna tell everybody listening stop telling your friends your business because people have a jealous nature and they will try to get what is yours even if it is not the best thing in the world just because you have it they will want it and they it is so much easier for a female to take a man that is already in a relationship Pay attention here because they're not competing with everybody out there. They're only competing with you. And you have given them the mother loving playbook. You have told them everything about your man, how he is in bed, what he does, how he does it, what he likes, what he doesn't. And oh, they are just like that slithery little snake coming in using that. And men can be weak and women can be weak. They can just be weak and need attention. And even if it's just, you're my friend, do not even flirt. If you, if, if I have a, a man and a female friend and they are even flirting, no, that's a no-go. Out of respect and loyalty, that is a no-go. But I'm this girl. Oh, go enjoy each other because sometimes the trash just needs to take itself out, okay? So you, my dear, this is a blessing on a blessing on a blessing. We just went through eclipses, we just went through planet conjuncts, and now we're going through a Scorpio full moon. What does Scorpio do? Scorpio has tons of secrets, all those secrets about to pop. All those secrets about to pop if we are listening. If we are listening, we are going to get the juiciest of the juices during this full moon. If we are listening, were you listening? Did you hear? Did you get it? Do you got it? Did you get it? Yeah. Do yeah. not feel bad that you lost a cubic zirconia when there's a diamond coming up on you. It's not even a cubic. It's not even a piece of coal. D do not feel bad that you lost that when there is a dime. And I know it's difficult and it's sad when there is betrayal. By the way, on TikTok this morning, I did a clearing for betrayal. I really want you to go listen to that. Do not feel bad when you lose what was not for you. And I'm going to tell you those two can do whatever they're going to do and don't let that bother you because if you hold on to that, you will not get what is for you because you'll be stuck in that. You cut the cord, you block it, you let it go and you move on. And I'm going to tell you that wasn't the first pill. It won't be the last. That's just the first one you know about. It won't be the last. It's an all on. And and if you're, if that guy, if that person wants someone that's just going to let them do what they're going to do, let them have that and 
be grateful you know and you can move on okay love thank but you dear i am very strongly or or your angels you they are very strongly telling you cut block lock both of them out of every possible everything with you okay sweetie okay dear thank you you are so so welcome and i'm gonna do a clearing right now for you and everybody listening um who is going through a breakup to clear he'll release anything any ties any connections who any energies separate them clear them release them redirect them and one more thing if this person either one of them try to knock on your door do not answer there's nothing that says we ever have to answer our door our phone or return a text there is nothing once somebody shows you what they want let them have it let them have it but they don't get to circle back they don't get to circle back okay they don't well and i'm not telling you what to do i'm just saying what i'm saying i hope that's helpful i'm gonna move on now um i thought i saw i just saw, thought i saw a message i guess i didn't um Catherine. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Mo Liv. Hey, uh, Patrick. Um, hi, Tony. Anything coming through from my mom? Her name is Nancy. Thank you. Yes, Catherine. Let me see what I can do. There's such a peace with her energy. There is such a beautiful peace with her energy. So the first thing uh, I would ask her is, what does she want to tell you? Um, every time you see flowers, that's a confirmation she's around you. Um, the next thing she would want to say to you, it's um, especially like those those Gerber daisies, those those flowers, they have the, the center and then the petals that are like oval shaped and there's a lot of petals. I think, I don't, I think that's what, and they can be many different colors she's saying. Uh, the next thing that she would want to say to you is um, she's all right, she's good, she's at peace, she's happy. And she wants you to be the same way. She's so, there's so much peace with her energy. She wants you to have, um, 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 magnificent realizations. So when you go to sleep at night, ask her to show you something beautiful and ask her to let you remember it in the morning. Ask her to show you just beautiful, something beautiful. Now it can just be something beautiful. It can be something coming in, uh, whatever it is, ask her to show you. And she will, she will do that in your dreams. And that is what she has for you, love. I hope that that was very, very ha happy happy helpful i'm so sorry love i'm so ha i'm so so sorry i think 519 is next 519 what's your name and where are you calling from hi tony it's jennifer calling from canada hey jennifer how are you good um my friend is proposing to move to england um, and it's kind of been something I've been thinking about for a while too. Is that something that you see would be a good choice for myself? Actually, yes. Um, I would look at everything going on in England. Of course, it might be better than where you are. They might be a few steps behind where you are is the way I'm hearing it. Um, I'm also hearing it would be good 
for a bit of time, you, if you, here's the way I'm going to say this. If you go there, you can choose to stay there throughout, but you may end up going um, other places too. But it will be a good first step for you. So if you choose and you do it with uh, fortitude, it will be a very positive uh, thing. I hope that's helpful, Jennifer. Very much. Thank you very much, and, Tony. Um, just make sure you look at their policies in comparison. And I know you know what I mean by policies. Um, make sure you look at their policies in comparison to where you are located now and look at what their leaders are proposing moving forward. Okay, sweetie? Yes, thank you. You, you know are, what I mean. <laughs> you are so, 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 so welcome. So welcome. <laughs> So very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my love. Thank you, my love. Um, 505 will be the next. Do I have time? Yep, will be the next color. I'm going to go to um, to questions. Uh, uh, okay. Um, Yes, Mo Live. It's black eyed peas. I was trying to say my homes, my homes, my uh something humps. Okay. Grandpa Joe, Mo Live wants to, I hope I'm saying your name right, wants to know, is there any message from my grandpa Joe? I get yes right away and I get this. Like I wanna be mm -hmm, you know, strong. Like I want to flex my muscles, especially my upper body muscles. Um, so meaning he may have been very physically st strong in his prime. Um, but what I'm getting the message for you, Mo, I'm just going to call you Mo. Don't let anybody tell you, you can't do what you can do. Oh, that's why the flexing be strong. Um, don't let anybody tell you you can't do what you can do and you know everything you're capable of. There's so much more than what you know you're capable of that you are capable of. So please make sure that you're moving forward in that direction and don't stop for anyone at any time for any reason. Just put one foot in front of the other. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the people who say, oh, that's not going to work. Maybe for you, but not for me. Maybe for you, but not for me. And just keep moving. You will have people coming in that are going to be helpful people. Don't give your stuff away. And they don't mean like your, your physical stuff. They mean like if you start a business or you have, don't give it away. Uh, keep your vested interests and don't give your secrets away don't give your secrets away keep your 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 ideas in in your head until you're putting them into reality and even once you put it into reality don't share all the details with everyone okay sweetie that's the message he has for you and uh yes 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 Okay, 505. 505, what's your name and where are you calling from? Yes, hi, my name is Patricia. I'm calling from Albuquerque, New Mexico. How can I help you today? Yes, um, I've been, ever since I've gotten to this state and city, it's just been, you know, one you know, a lot of uh, just negative stuff and energies. And of course, I'm temporarily in a homeless shelter. Um, are they or the persons running the shelter and the employees under them, are they doing something behind my back? Because they have all these, they play favorites with certain women. It's a women's shelter. And, uh, they don't help some of the 
some women and do and help and the ones they do give some help and resources to. But anyway, uh, I'm always going out and doing my own thing. But are they uh, doing something that will be negative, you know, for me? No, that I, would harm me in any way. No, um, Patricia. Well, first of all, I'm really sorry about your circumstances. Um, here's what I'm gonna say. I don't feel like they're doing anything negative in your direction at you or to you personally. I just feel like they are, they do things for certain people, yes, but they don't, they're not going to. Okay, Patricia, what, what I'm really getting for you is you need to, and I'm not, t listen, no matter what message I give on the show, y'all have free will. No matter what messages I channel or they come through, you get to make the choice. Is this what I want to do or is this not what I want to do? What I'm really getting for you is you need to spend a couple of days at administrative offices like social security disability um, or social security and the housing authority office and the food. And if you've already done those and, and nothing has come through, go every go and every day check up because right now you have no other thing to do. So you can say, I'm just checking in. Please let me know. Can you help me? Um, but that is the resource that might come through for you first. And if you cannot get, let's just say, Social Security or Social Security disability, at least try to get some kind of secured housing. I said this, I think, last week on my show. Sometimes if you go to a, an apartment and they may, a building, they may already be working with this, but you can ask them. And sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. But you need to start getting into a situation similar or in that order, Patricia. And I hope that is very helpful for you. I really, really hope that's helpful for you. Uh, let me see. Let's go to, I think. Okay, there's two messages here together. So I'm just going to read them. Uh, hi, Tony. As my father's apartment in China was rented out by our neighbor without our permission for over four years and the original furniture inside either damaged or missing, my sister is hiring, let me see, a lawyer to sue this guy. Good. Can you see if this is going to be out of court settlement and do you see how long we can reach agreement? Thank you. Okay, so you wanna know when an agreement is gonna be, when a conclusion is gonna come. Um, you know, it's all gonna come down to documentation. If this person does not, if the neighbor the person who rented the place does not have the appropriate documentation that that states they have the right to do this. Um, it is not going to go well for them. And it, let me ask you this. Where's that money going? He rented it for four years. That is part of the um, now I know I'm channeling. That is part of not only can you a part of the settlement should be all of the back rent for four years. Whatever was paid to him for that should be recouped by you and your sister. Also, um, this person, I'm hearing this person might end up being uh, having to spend time in jail because this is a criminal offense. And they should be very careful and very quick to settle. They 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 have more confidence than common sense is, and uh, the first word was cocky. They're more cocky than they are common sense. They're very. Um, they think that they they're very uh, egoic, very 
like boastful, like, oh, mm, they can't do anything to me. They're not here. Um, they have to have perfect records and they should not have kept not one penny of that. That's what makes it theft um, and could be the criminal charges is what I'm hearing. You have to check with everybody on that end and make sure that that is accurate, that that is accurate. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for putting that question in. I'm going to make a quick statement and I'm going to use these pieces of paper to help me because I don't want this show to get taken down or banned. So there is a certain application that the uh, people in charge are trying to take down because people or a person in this country owns it. And they're saying it's a matter of national security. That's fine. But if you're going to make this company sell to an American person in order to have this application available, then are you going to make all the people that of this country that own farmland near our militaries also sell? Especially the one with windmills. And if you know what windmills do, you know what windmills do. So I think these people, especially the general of the, I think it's called the CCP. Yeah, a general of the, a general of this country's military owns farmland near our military bases. Now, I think that's a threat to our national security, but what do I know? So I would just pose that question to every single politician. If these people have to sell to Americans, I want every one of the people owning farmland near military should have to sell too, to Americans. Am I wrong? I don't know. I, I feel like I'm not. I feel like the farmland thing would have come first. I don't know. Am I just being a silly goose? You know, I know I don't know much about technology, but I'm saying what I'm saying. And if you know, you know. Okay. Having said all of that, I'm going to do some clearings for everybody. Uh, thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie says it all makes perfect sense and has helped immensely. Thank you. Uh, okay, I don't want to start a question seconds. because I won't have enough time left. So I'm going to do a clearing. I'm going to do a clearing for our hearts to heal. So we're going to start clearing, whether it's physically, emotionally, mentally, psychologically, whatever it is, our hearts to heal. And the second clearing I'm going to do is for our mind, for our minds to heal. So I'm going to start clearing that now. If I did not get to your question today, please come back Wednesday evening. I'll be on at 7 p.m. for 60 minutes to answer as many questions via the chat and via the phone as possible. So please come back on Wednesday at 7 p.m. and or next Monday, and that is central. Thank you so much. I love you all so much. I have a whole oh, half an hour. Those last clearings are kicking my booty. <laughs> have an absolutely amazing rest of the day, and don't forget to create miracles in your life.